So I'm gonna be real with you guys today. I, it's just been a day. Welcome to my new kitchen. Um, as you can see, we moved this past weekend, and so it was a lot of work, but I'm just happy to say that most of the house is pretty much put away. Um, I got the kids' rooms finished and the living room done, and there's just a few things here and there that I gotta clean out, but other than that, we're, we're pretty much all moved in, so that's a really good feeling. Today, I wanted to show you guys how I shop carnivore on a budget. Uh, we are currently a family of four and soon to be a family of five. I'm currently 15 weeks and three days pregnant. And so I just want to show you guys how I eat this way and how I'm able to stay in our budget. Um, we usually shop about week to week. Um, I used to try and shop every two weeks, but it just got a little bit too long and stretched out. And, and sometimes I'll still do that, but I think I prefer to shop uh, per week. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I bought today. Uh, we just got home a little while ago and I have all the groceries still sitting on the floor of my kitchen and I'm just going to kind of unveil what I bought today and show you guys uh, how I stayed in budget. So I'm going to be real with you guys today. I, it's just been a day. Um, it was really exhausting. We left early this morning at like 8.30. Um, Maddie had a doctor's appointment and just it was just a checkup and I think she had to get one shot and so we did that and then we had to run some errands in town besides going grocery shopping and and during grocery shopping Maddie decided to pee her pants and so I had to buy her new shoes because I had an extra pair of pants in my in like my diaper bag but she soaked her shoes and so I had to go buy her a new pair of shoes thankfully I was at the thrift store and I was able to find a pair for her really cheap and then it's just yeah there's just been so many things going on today and it's just been a really exhausting day I've hardly eaten anything today um, so I'm definitely gonna be feasting tonight um, and I will show you the delicious food that I bought um, but I'm super excited to uh, show with you guys and to eat because like I said I am starving and I am definitely gonna be cooking up something tasty for dinner uh, right now it's 419 so we spent like six hours in town and to be honest I'm still trying to get used to um, being a half an hour away from like where we shop so it's wonderful living out in the country and I grew up in the country as well as my husband but we've lived in town for two years so everything has been so accessible and so easy to reach and now kind of trying to plan out my shopping trips and trying to plan out my my runs to town a little bit more to save on gas and to save on money um, it definitely makes for long days when we do go into town and so I kind of got to figure that out and work that out a little bit better because today's been really exhausting. But anyways, I digress. Let's go on with what I bought today. So the first score that I found today was at one of my favorite places to shop for meat, which is Piggly Wiggly. Um, I guess it depends on the kind of Piggly Wiggly that you go to, because in some towns, they're not that great. But in our town, it is fantastic for meat deals. They always have really great prices on meat. And so today, I got Certified Angus Beef Boneless Petite Sirloin Steaks. And I picked up seven packages of these, and you guys can kind of see what they look like. Um, but yeah, I just stocked up on them because they're $2.99 a pound, which is really cheap for them. Uh, normally they're more expensive than that. Seven packs of these sirloin boneless steaks right here is about $40. So that was definitely on point for budget for me, and that's why I decided to stock up. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the fridge because like I said, we had a half an hour drive home and I don't want them to get warm. All right, the second steal that I found today was at a place called Pick and Save. And I don't know if you guys have any of them around here. They're pretty common out in the Midwest. Um, and so 
They're, they're a little bit more of a ritzier grocery store, but I do find deals every so often there, especially on meat. And today I found a really good deal on chicken thighs. So the sale was, uh, they were $149 a pound per package. And, um, but if you were a member at the store, which I have like their member store card, it was 59 cents per pound. So I literally got this $8.20 package for like, four or five bucks, something like that. So it's a really good deal and I bought three of these. And sometimes when I find good deals like this, I will stock up a little bit more. Like, I don't know if we're gonna eat through all this meat this week, but I can always freeze it and it's gonna save us money in the long run. Um, and so yeah, I really like chicken thighs. If I'm gonna have any kind of chicken, it's gonna be chicken thighs or drumsticks. And so I'm super excited about that find. Going back to Piggly Wiggly, um, I also was able to get what are these leg quarters? So they were a dollar off. Um, this package right here was two thirty-seven. So I only paid a dollar thirty-seven, and this is three point four four pounds of meat. Granted, there is bone in here, but it's still a really good, you know, option if you're trying to find some cheap meat. And like I said, I can always freeze these if we don't use them this week. And yeah, I just really I, I like these because it has the the thigh on it, and then it also has the drumstick. Or it doesn't have the thigh. Well, it's a leg quarter. So if I'm thinking about chicken right, it has, because I don't think it's like a breast. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm really happy I found these. I picked up three of these as well. So these were each like a dollar thirty, a dollar twenty um, per package. So you really can't go wrong with that. All right. The next thing that I'm going to show you guys is some more things that I bought at Pick and Save, and. Uh, you can't already see the, the bag is open. We were snacking on the way home uh, because the kids were getting hungry and so was I. So I'll show you the package that's not open. Um, so these are cheese sticks. These are like my all time favorite cheese sticks. I don't know what it is about Frigo. I think that's how you say it. But these cheese sticks just taste so good. They are so creamy and so delicious. And they were actually on sale today. So I think they're normally like $8 for the 24 package, but today they were, I wanna say $5.99, and they were on sale for $4.99 if you bought five packages. And I was like, well, that's a little excessive. I don't need five packages of 24 pack cheese sticks. So I only got two of them, um, and this will definitely last us through the week. We all love cheese sticks in our house. My kids adore them for a snack. My husband likes to snack on them and I love to snack on them. So I'm excited that I found these on sale today. Like I said, I normally will get cheese sticks um, during my week of shopping, but when the Frigo cheese sticks are on sale, it is so hard for me to resist. So I'm super happy I found these today. I got apples. My husband really likes apples in the morning or for an afternoon snack. And then my kids also like to have apples every now and then. Um, in the morning, um, they usually, like I said, will have one to two pieces of fruit a day. I think I've mentioned that in other videos. So I picked up um, about two and a half pounds of apples and they were really cheap today. They were uh, 99 cents for gala apples, which we like. We like a little bit of a crunchier, hearty, hard, harder, excuse me, harder apple, even though I don't eat them myself. Um, I picked up a 2% milk, milk fat, low fat. I'm not a fan of the low fat, but cottage cheese. It was uh, reduced because it's supposed to expire, I think, at the end of this month. So we'll definitely eat it up before then. Um, and my kids really love cottage cheese. I myself don't actually eat cottage cheese. Um, maybe I've had it like every blue moon. Um, it's just got a lot of carbs in it for me for a cheese. And it has a lot of ingredients. <laughs> like if you see the ingredients, there's just, I try and stick to like no more than three ingredients unless it's like including spices. And so this is for the kids. They love this for like lunchtime to pair with like their meat um, or just for an afternoon snack. So that's what I got for them. So I also went ahead and picked up a couple dozen of eggs. Um, we still had one dozen left in our fridge and actually our neighbors came by. Uh, we met our new neighbors the like two couple days ago and they came with a housewarming gift of chicken eggs. And I'm like, I already know we're gonna be best friends. They apparently have like 40 chickens and I'm gonna start getting eggs from her um, because 
who doesn't love farm fresh eggs? And I was getting farm fresh eggs from one of my friends, but I haven't done it for about a month because she said that her eggs haven't been laying ever since that it's been cold. And so I'm kind of excited that I found someone that's really close by now uh, that I can be buying eggs when her when her chickens aren't laying. So definitely won't be buying so much of the conventional eggs, but they are here if we want to have eggs. So this is something that I'm excited that I found. Um, I found it at a place called The Bargain Spot and I will go there every so often to find like higher brand, higher named foods and they're usually 60% off. So like maybe there'll be like a dent in the can or maybe they'll be close to expiration or maybe they'll just be from a local farm. And so I'll go there and check to see what they have and today I found beef liver. So I'm really excited. It was like $1.50 and I'd say this is about a pound of beef liver um, and it's from a farm right here in, in really close by us from Judah. So it's not too far away. It's local and it looks really fresh and really good. Um, so I'm probably going to cook some of up, this up, up to, <laughs> so I'm probably going to cook some of this up tonight um, because it's been about a week since I've had liver and I was definitely craving it. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited that I found this and this was like I said only $1.50. Can't forget about more cheese. Literally, we run off of cheese on this house. My kids just live for it, and my husband loves it on his eggs or on his sandwiches. And so I got some uh, cheddar jack cheese, I got some Monterey jack cheese, and I got some pepper jack cheese. And I got these at Piggly Wiggly as well. There was a sale today where it was get three for $5. That came out to about uh, $1.66 uh, per, per block. So that's pretty good. Um, considering their normal price is like $1.99. So I saved a few cents there and I just always know that I need to be stocked up on cheese in this household because it's something that just goes really, really quick. I picked up a gallon of milk. Um, I usually buy the whole milk vitamin D. Uh, that's what the kids usually drink and that's what my husband will drink now. Uh, he used to prefer like 1% milk, but ever since we started having kids and they drink the vitamin D milk, um, he's just kind of switched over to that. So I did pick up a gallon of this and this was like $1.88. Um, it's, I feel really fortunate because we do live in like cow country and dairy country. And so milk, eggs, cheese, those things are super cheap for us compared to other places um, in the country. And so that's something that does make it a little bit easier for eating this way. Um, but it's definitely, you know, if you're looking for the deals and if you're looking at the papers and the coupons and the sales, uh, you'll definitely be able to save money even though you're eating this way. So I also picked up some grapes for the kids. Uh, these were 89 cents a pound. And so my kids love grapes. It's one of their favorite fruits. And so because they were so cheap this week, I decided I should probably pick up some for them. So this is usually what I buy when I get vegetables for my family. I don't really buy a lot of fresh vegetables. Um, just because they end up going bad in the fridge a lot of the time and I have to throw them away. So I found this really simple and useful for us. Uh, these just come in the steamable packs. I'm sure you've seen them in my day of eatings uh, for the kids and for my husband and I'll cook these up for them. They literally take like four minutes in the microwave and they're just really good side for um, the meat that I give them and my husband really enjoys them and Zane is really into veggies. He really likes veggies so Maddie could care less. She's all about the meat. Um, but yeah, I picked up, I believe, five packs of these because I think I had a couple left in our freezer. And so I just picked up a couple mixed vegetables, um, a couple garden peas, and then one green beans. I'm going to go ahead and stick those in the freezer now. My husband really likes juice. The kids never really have juice, um, but he asked me to stock up on some juice for him this week because... I think he only had like a little bit last week. Um, I had forgotten to buy it. So I bought a couple of orange juices for him. Um, these were two for three dollars today. So I picked up two of them because it was a good deal. Speaking of juice, I also got my husband uh, some Indian Summer Premium Apple Juice. This is 100% apple juice. That what I just showed you was 100% orange juice. And these were 99 cents per can, so that was really cheap. So I decided to stock up on them uh, for this week, and then maybe we won't have to go and buy them next week. I picked up some grape tomatoes. Zane is a fan of these, and these were $1.29 this week. I also picked up two um, little 
clumps of bananas, I don't know what you call them. Uh, these were 27 cents a pound this week, so that was really cheap, and I just decided to uh, stock up on some of these. The kids love bananas, and if we don't go through them, I usually can make them like a banana smoothie or something like that, that they super enjoy. So uh, that's pretty much, I think I showed you all the fruit. We got apples, grapes, and um, bananas. Sorry guys, it's been a long day. <laughs> and then I got the frozen vegetables, and I also got some fresh tomatoes. And then we have pickles and stuff in our fridge that we eat throughout the week. Uh, so the kids will be eating that for vegetables as well. So now we're getting down to the snacks. Um, so for the kids this week, I bought them these planters. And this bag's already open because we, uh, they were eating them in the car. And so uh, these were on sale at the bargain spot that I was showing you guys or talking to you guys about. And they're cocoa with pink Himalayan salt, roasted almonds. Um, no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. And so I just figured this is a healthy snack. It's not very high on carbohydrates. So it's seven grams of total carbohydrates and three grams of dietary fiber. So that's uh, four net carbs. Um, and that's for 26 pieces. So that's a really good low carb snack that I thought uh, I would pick up for the kids. It was buy one, get one free. And one of them was $1.25. So. It was kind of a no-brainer to get these, and they like something with a little bit of chocolate every now and then. And I like that this had cacao on the on the almonds, and so they really enjoyed that. So I just picked up two of these for a snack. Also at Aldi's, I picked up, because I did go to Aldi's today, that's where I got the frozen vegetables. Uh, that's where I also picked up the grapes, the milk, just kind of odds and ends here and there. Um, and then so at Aldi's, I also got these mixed nuts. Um, it's less than 50% peanuts, it has peanuts, almonds, cashews, brill nuts, Brazil nuts, and pecans with sea salt. And so my family really enjoys nuts for snacks and I figured that they would enjoy this. Usually for like mixed nuts, I know this one has peanuts in it, but usually for mixed nuts I feel like they're really expensive and so I thought it would be fun to pick this up for them. I think it was only like $4.99 so it wasn't horrible. Um, it's a 14.75 ounce so not too bad of a deal. Like I said there's still peanuts in there but Zane really likes peanuts and so he doesn't mind eating those at all. I try not to buy this kind too often just because there is cottonseed oil, uh, peanut oil, some sunflower seed oil and or canola oil. You don't really know what kind of oils in here. Um, and then there's also sea salt in here, which is good. But yeah, I usually try and just get the raw nuts and we have a Blaine's Farm and Fleet that I usually will go to where I can just get bags of cashews or bags of almonds or bags of pecans and that's the only ingredient on the list and that's usually what I like to buy for my family. But I didn't go there today. We had a lot of stops to make and I just didn't want to make one more stop. So I just picked these up at Aldi's and called it good. The most exciting buy of today was the toilet paper. We were almost out. We were on our last rolls, so got that today with the grocery bill. I know you're all exciting and totally were waiting for that. <laughs> and then the last few things that I have to show you guys um, are things that I would never eat personally myself. This is just me being realistic and showing you what I buy during a week. Um, so last week I didn't really buy a whole lot of snacks. Um, I bought Gabe some cashews and I bought some popcorn for the kids and that was really it that we had for snacks. And so Gabe was like throwing hints at me saying, honey, can you buy me some, some snacks this week? Like, you know, chips are like one of his favorite things. So I picked up some chips for him and he does really eat them in moderation. But it's football season and sometimes he likes to sit down on the, uh, on the couch and uh, watch football with a bag of chips. So there are some chips on sale this week that I got for him. I got these from Aldi's, um, they're just the jalapeno kettle chips, kettle chips, I think I said that right, and so I picked up a bag of those, and then these were on sale, if you bought two of them, uh, he obviously likes really spicy chips, so he got jalapeno, and then he got the flaming hot nacho Doritos, so I got a couple of those for him. And like, you know what's funny is that I can buy these things for my husband and not even be tempted by them. Like Doritos were one of my favorite snacks. Like I, I was never really a chip person. I was more of like a bakery sweets kind of person or like ice cream. Um, but like if I was going to have chips, it was going to be Doritos. And like to me, I'd rather have cheese sticks than this now. Like this doesn't even look like real food to me. So just a side note, just putting that out there. 
And then I also picked him up like a knockoff brand of Honey Bunches of Oats because he really likes this cereal and he really likes this brand. Um, and so he does not have cereal every single morning. I try and make, you know, a good, I'll make like a homemade granola um, myself and that way I can limit the amount of sugar and I know exactly the ingredients and the kind of oil because I like to cook with avocado oil or coconut oil. Um, but when I don't have time to do that, I don't think I have the ingredients to make. I still have some leftover granola from the past couple of weeks, but he's going to run out of that. And then, like I said, I usually like to make eggs in the morning uh, with cheese on top, and he really enjoys that. But some mornings he's running really late to work, and so we just don't wake up in time. And so this is like a back me up, save me, like this is something that you can eat right before work and, and just kind of scarf down quick before you head out the door. And so I just picked this up for him as kind of a backup if I, you know, I'm sleeping in that morning or if, you know, he's just running late and doesn't have time for me to get up and make him breakfast. So he enjoys this and I picked this up at all these. Well, the last thing I'm going to show you that I bought, actually I have two more things to show you. I got a snack for the kids today, um, but I bought shoes for Maddie at the thrift store and then, so they were too big and they were like the only size that they had for her and I was like oh they'll fit fine and then I put them on her and they just yeah they fit her but she kept on kicking them off the longer that we're in the store and so I was like okay this isn't gonna work and I had already bought them because I literally went in the store bought them and then went shopping in the store so I was like okay I gotta stop at Dollar General because that's on our way to Piggly Wiggly and I knew that they had uh, shoes on sale, so I picked up these cute little like white shoes for her that were like $1.50. I should have just gone there in the first place and not worried about it. Um, but when I was there, I also found some really cute fox slippers for her that are in her size. And these were like $1.20 on sale. They were normally $4. So I'm a sucker for a good deal. And it's starting to get cold here. Um, it's fall time, and so I could just see her plodding around in these cute little fox slippers. I would have gotten a pair for Zane, but they didn't have his size. So I'll kind of keep my eyes out for him to have a cute pair of slippers. Um, but yeah, I just, I thought these were too cute to pass up. So the last thing I'm going to show you guys today are these little roll-up snacks that I got for the kids at the bargain bin shop. Um, and so this is, what's the brand here? Yo-Yo's? I think that's the brand. Yo-Yo Bears. It has a bear on the front. I'll show you a better picture of it. But it just looked like a really cool snack to me because the only ingredients are apples, pears, strawberries, black carrot extract. And they had a mango one earlier today when we're out shopping and all it had was like three ingredients. It was like mango and then it had a vegetable. I wonder, I think I threw away the wrapper. Um, and there was also an apple one that I was considering getting. It had apple, pear, and spirulina extract or something. So on here in the package, it says it's 100% fruit and veg rolls. Absolutely nothing else. And this is the strawberry flavor. Like I said earlier, they had the mango flavor. And I just picked up two of these um, just because I knew that we're out and about. And the kids usually need to have snacks in order to... Um, in order to make it through a long day in town and a long time uh, shopping with me. And so I thought this was a good option. There's two rolls in here. Um, and so it was only 35 cents for this one package. So like I said, I picked up two and they really enjoyed those. It was just to just go on talking about what a long day it was. Normally the kids are really good when I'm out shopping, but today I just think I had them out too long because like I said, Maddie had a doctor's appointment and then we ran to the thrift store and then Maddie ended up peeing in the thrift store and then I had to change her outfit and her shoes and then we went grocery shopping and when we were out grocery shopping, we were in the produce aisle and Zane saw these apples and pears and he grabbed a pear and bit into the pear and I'm like, are you kidding me? And so, there was a really nice gentleman working there and he's just like, here, he can go ahead and have it. And I was like, no, let me pay for it. And he was like, no, no, it's fine. I got it covered. And if anybody asked you about it, just let them know that I said I got it covered. And I was like, okay. And I was talking to this nice gentleman and thanking him for it. I turn around and Zane's biting into another apple. And I'm like, so mad at this point. I mean, this is just frustrations of mom life like I feel like sometimes I can't take two seconds off my kids especially when I'm shopping and I know better because usually in the store they have like these fun uh, cars carts so like the kid can be driving the car while you're shopping and they're a lifesaver but we went there today and they were all gone and I was like no why so 
so this is what happens when I guess my kids aren't in a cart because you know my kids are really well behaved most of the time but I feel like if I give them too much leeway if I take my eyes off of them then they will get into mischief and it's just it was very frustrating and it was just something I was just like okay we need to shop as fast as we possibly can and get out of here before my child eats all the fruit in the produce section. It's just, it's just been a really long day, guys. So I appreciate you guys spending the time with me, letting me vent a little bit. Um, it feels good that I got grocery shopping done for this week. Um, so now we can pretty much hang out here for the rest of the week and not have to worry about picking up things and making extra trips into town. Uh, but yeah, in total, I believe today we spent $119. Uh, usually when I go grocery shopping, I try to not spend more than $120 per week. Um, and my goal is actually to hit only $100 per week. So that's usually my goal. I did buy a few extra things this week like toilet paper and I bought a few snacks for the kids while we were out and about. And I bought some shoes, which were not on the agenda. I mean, I got them cheap, but still that adds up. And so there was little things here and there that did make uh, the cost of our groceries go up a little bit today, but I was still able to stay in budget, and so I am happy and proud about myself for that. Um, but yeah, usually, like I said, for for a week week span, we will spend no more than $120. And as you guys could see, I mean, we got a ton of food. There was a ton of meat that I was able to buy. Um, just looking for the good deals and we usually um, when we lived in town we would get like a I don't know if you'd call it a mani shopper but it's something like that where they all the stores have their coupons and they show their deals for the week and now that we don't live um, in our old town anymore we don't get that shopper anymore but they still have it at the local library and so I'm able to go there and pick it up and see what the deals are and therefore plan what I'm going to purchase and what stores I need to hit up uh, during the week and so that really helps and I really think that when you are being prepared going out shopping you're not just shopping and buying things on a whim that will definitely help you stay on budget better um, and like I said, it, it's been working for us and we're able to eat this way. We're able to eat a very meat heavy diet. Um, everyone in my family eats a lot of meat and they will have their sides that I buy for them, the fruits, the veggies, um, the chips here and there. But yeah, it just works really well for us and that's how we do it as a family of four. Um, so yeah, I hope that this was informative. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I hope that you're able to take something away. Let me know what you guys do to stay in budget during your shopping days. And if you like this video, please like it and let me know if you want to see more of this content. Thanks guys, I appreciate it. Just showing a little bump update. Got that, that belly. Like I said, I really felt like in the beginning of my pregnancy, I like popped out right away. But ever since I popped out, I don't really feel like I popped out much more. I mean, maybe you guys can tell a difference. I live with myself every day, so it's hard to tell. Um, but yeah, that is me at 15 weeks and three days pregnant. Delicious. I'm so excited. And look at all this cheese, you guys. Like, that just makes a pregnant lady happy. Like, I don't know what else can make you more happy than that. What's in there? Is that your tire? <laughs> Hi, cutie. Yeah. Let me see. You want to see yourself? <laughs> Hi, Maddie. Yeah, me.